have here our slice of words, actually company names. We're going to have the each word and range through from the words. And we're going to define switch here, which is going to get the size of the length of the word, actually. And we're going to use this size in through the all the cases. So this size is reachable in all the cases, actually. Let's define like this. So if it is the company name is the, the length of tilde 4, it's going to fall through to here. And we're going to just print it. It's a yeah, short company name. Let's copy this. And if it is like a little longer, let's say long company name. And in default, it's a very long company name. So what is different in Golang comparing to other languages? In other languages, most of them, you have to put a break here. And if you forget that, your program is going to break. I mean, it's not going to work as you were expecting. So that's a quite, that makes the switch statement quite cumbersome. In Go, we don't have this default fall through behavior. So you can use the switch statement. Actually, Go got it right. That's why switch statement is widely used in Go comparing to other languages.